one thing that consistently comes up when you're mentioned is corruption. Why do you think that your name is so linked to corruption? I have been successful. And uh, secondly, I have never been charged. I've never been indicted. They are all allegations. And I have asked anybody, I have dared people publicly, that is, anybody has any evidence of corruption against me, let him come out. Are you corrupt? I'm not certain, you know, because if I'm corrupt, I would have been either charged or indicted. Former President of Hassanjo, who you've recently reconciled with, made those allegations, and uh, why do you think he made them? He investigated me more than any other person else. Why didn't he? Excuse me, why didn't he indict me? There are some reports that you paid more than a million dollars uh, in order to get your visa. What is your response to that? I know my party has a lobbyist, but they engaged that lobbyist before I even ran for the presidency, you know, or the candidature uh, of the party. But to say that they paid for my visa, you know that you don't pay for a U.S. visa. You are on record as saying that you plan to enrich not only your family, but your friends, if you become president. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, get some clarification again, on what you again, mean. Uh, <laughs> out of context. This is your yeah, chance been, to explain. I've been, I've been quoted out of context. You okay. know, what I said is that my friends should not be discriminated because they are my friends. Okay. In fact, all Nigerians are my friends, you know. So, let me tell you, in our administration, we made more billionaires than any other administration. I don't think this administration made any billionaire anyway. How did you in do that? of those, there was none that I knew before. Hmm. Some of your friends became billionaires? No. They are still not my friends. Hmm. Yes, I cannot say that I, have, I don't know them. I know them, but they are not my friends. Yeah. So do you believe in crony capitalism? No, I don't. You don't? No. What are your views on gender equality? Well, I want to take it from both, you know, a party perspective and also personal perspective. As far as the party is concerned, the PDP, since our inception, we have always given women, you know, and in fact a court, I mean a quarter in, in, in terms of whether uh, appointment or election into party offices or in government. And you know the PDP government, if you look at our record, we have had more women ministers in our cabinet than any other government. And that's why in my microfinance bank, I said 80% of the loans should go to women. And why because, why? Because if you want to take people out of poverty, empower women, 